Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Rock Island Public Library. I wanted to wish you all a happy National Dog Day. Today we are going to show you a great DIY video for three ingredient dog treats. Now these are the easiest treats imaginable to make for your furry friend and they require no baking too. So stay tuned and you'll find out all the ingredients and the directions to come. Okay, so let's go over our three ingredients for our dog treats. First thing you're gonna need is two and a half cups of old fashioned or quick oats. The next thing you need is one cup of 100% pure pumpkin and make sure that it's pure pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling. You can use fresh or canned, just making sure that it's not pumpkin pie filling because pumpkin pie filling has a lot of extra sugar that you don't wanna be feeding your furry friend. And last but not least, we just need one half cup of peanut butter. And the peanut butter I use is all natural. There's only two ingredients in it, which is peanuts and then 1% less salt. So I recommend using any natural peanut butter brand, but you can really use whatever peanut butter you'd like just to make sure that it doesn't have any xylitol in it because xylitol is very bad for your fur babies. So as you can see here, I poured out my two and a half cups of oats into a large mixing bowl. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my one cup of pumpkin puree. And this is a half cup measuring cup because that's all I had. So bear with me here as I fill up and measure two of them. And you're just gonna wanna add it directly into the oats in the bowl. And this is a great craft to do for any ages, it's a great way to get the toddlers and kids involved, especially when it comes to feeding the, kids, the fur babies. <laughs> all right, here's the other half of my pumpkin puree. Make sure we get it all in there. And then the next thing we're gonna wanna do is add a half a cup of our peanut butter. And I have all natural peanut butter, so it kind of is a little bit oily on the top, but that's all right. This is the peanut butter we keep in the house just for our dogs. So. All right, let's measure out half a cup. And the great thing about this recipe is that you can just add as needed into your mix. If you think that it's too wet, add more oats. If you think it's too dry, add more pumpkin puree and peanut butter. Make sure we get all that natural peanut butter in there. All right. Now with our three ingredients, all we have to do is mix it up and you can do that with a spoon or you know what, if it's an outdoor activity, the kids can mix it by hand. That's all right too. It's all natural. Humans can eat all these ingredients. It's all good. All right. So let me give that a mix and then I'll be right back to show you what that looks like. All right. So I finished mixing all the ingredients together. And if you can let me show you guys up close. So you want to see how it stays flat when I push it down. That's going to be the consistency you want to look for. And all you have to do is you can use cookie cutters or you can just roll them into cookie dough balls. Um, but all you have to do is roll them up according to the size of your furry friend and refrigerate them overnight. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll show you the final product, okay? All right, so this is what our final product looks like. I rolled them into balls, maybe a little bit smaller than a ping pong. Uh, I have a Labrador mix. She's between 50 and 60 pounds, so these should be a great size for her. Of course, if your dog is smaller, make sure you make smaller dog treats. Of course, so they don't actually harden in the fridge. They just kind of make sure they hold their form so you can just tear them apart as needed. And that concludes our video for three ingredient no bake dog treats. And I wanted to thank you all for watching and wish you all a happy National Dog Day from me, Rachel, in Rock Island Public Library. Thanks and have a great day.